overclockers, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is preparing for takeoff, bringing with it stunning new visuals, exciting new features, a brand new career system, a more realistic simulated Earth, and much, much more. Promising to deliver an incredible flying experience, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is set to push the boundaries, both when it comes to realism and the limits of your PC hardware. So how much will it cost for a PC to run Flight Simulator? Keep watching to find out. Looking at the screenshots and gameplay, you'd be forgiven for thinking you were watching some real-world footage. Everything has been recreated from buildings, weather and lighting, all the way to the ships, animals, trees and tiny rocks. Low-level terrain is incredibly accurate, and you'll feel immersed with realistic aerodynamics and dynamic weather systems. The attention to detail is truly breathtaking, and I can see this title appealing to both aviation enthusiasts and gamers who love exploration and advanced graphics. There's also many updates and improvements to the performance and gameplay. The new engine brings with it a new physics and aerodynamics engine, a new system for failure, wear and tear, updated systems for electrical, pneumatic, fuel and hydraulic, deeper and wider avionics packages, an in-depth career mode and more accurate aviation representation, and so much more. It all sounds and looks wonderful, but with those improved visuals and realism comes higher demands. So let's dive into the hardware requirements to get this simulator airborne. You'll be pleased to know that Microsoft is well aware that 2020 was a bit of a pig to run, even on the most powerful PCs. Thankfully, there have been massive performance improvements, with the engine now properly multi-threaded. The client is also more lightweight with less to download. Only the textures, meshes and map data that's truly needed will be downloaded to avoid unnecessary bandwidth and disk space usage. This helps to keep the minimum specifications of the sim as low as possible and also reduce the update and load times. To get the game running at basic settings, you'll need an Intel Core i7-6800K or Ryzen 5 2600X and GTX 970 or RX 5700 paired with 16GB of RAM. DirectX 12 support and at least 4GB of VRAM is the limiting factor when it comes to minimum GPU requirements. Meanwhile, both the minimum CPUs have at least 6 cores. This hardware is actually very similar to the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 recommended requirements. Thanks to the new client and engine, the storage requirement is surprisingly low for such a detailed game, only 50 gigabytes. That's a huge reduction from the 150 gigabytes needed for 2020. There's no demand for an SSD, but high speed storage is sure to improve your experience when it comes to loading screens and overall responsiveness. Speaking of loading screens, due to most of the sim data being streamed from the cloud, there is a minimum bandwidth requirement of 10 megabits per second, which should be achievable for most UK gamers. However, you'll likely get a better experience with a faster line. There's no mention of what graphic settings, resolution or FPS to expect, but if you're using the minimum specs, I imagine you'll need to use low settings at 720p or 1080p and get around 30 FPS. While you won't be able to enjoy all the graphical bells and whistles, you'll still be able to run the title and enjoy the basic elements of flight simulation without a significant investment in new hardware. For a smoother, more immersive experience, aim for at least an Intel Core i7-10700K or Ryzen 7 2700X paired with a GeForce RTX 2080 or RX 5700 XT. Other similarly powered GPUs should be okay as long as they have at least 8GB of VRAM. You'll also need 32GB of memory and once again only 50GB of storage. The recommended bandwidth requirement is 50 megabits per second as more detailed textures and information will need to be streamed from the cloud. 
Thankfully, this is still below the UK average, so it should be achievable for the majority of users. I imagine this hardware will be ideal for 1080p or even 1440p gaming at medium slash high settings with around 60 FPS. Nvidia's RTX GPUs have advanced features such as ray tracing, which will significantly enhance the realism of your flights. Meanwhile, Radeon RX GPUs provide great value for money with FSR support. The recommended specs reveal Flight Sim 2024 to be rather demanding, and you'll likely have to find a balance between performance and visual fidelity, especially in graphically intensive areas or some complex flight scenarios. If you don't want to compromise at all and only the ultimate flight experience will do, get ready to empty those wallets. The ideal spec list features an Intel i7 14700K or Ryzen 7 9700X and GeForce RTX 4080 or RX 7900 XT. Playing at a higher resolution with the beautiful textures will eat up your VRAM, so a minimum of 12GB is recommended here. I also find it quite humorous that the 64GB of RAM needed is actually higher than the 50GB storage requirement, and it goes to show just how much this title relies on streamed data. That means the ideal bandwidth is much higher, at 100 megabits per second, meaning you'll likely have to pay for a premium line. If you're in the UK, make sure you're well connected, as there are still some areas where this speed is unobtainable. I'm not sure that I can actually add moving house to the ideal spec list, but it depends on how much you love flight sim. Once again, no mention of performance to expect, but I'd hope that this ideal spec list allows you to crank up the settings to ultra, enjoying every detail at 1440p, 4K resolution. The RTX 4080 is a powerful GPU with DLSS and RTX support and enough VRAM for smooth performance and breathtaking visuals. Meanwhile, the RX 7900 XT offers great value for money and a whopping 20 gigabytes of VRAM, which is gonna come in handy for all those demanding textures. This is going to be the setup for those who want the absolute best and are willing to invest in the top of the line hardware. So how much is it going to cost for a PC to play Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024? Overclockers UK actually has a dedicated page for Microsoft Flight Simulator gaming PCs, which I'm going to link below. For playing at 1080p, I'd recommend the Crambit, has an i5 14600KF, GeForce RTX 4060 Ti, and the option to upgrade to 32 gigabytes of memory. You can also customize the case, cooler, storage, and more. Expect smooth gameplay at high settings with the one terabyte SSD providing fast load times and ample storage space for flight sim and your other applications. This PC is going to be perfect for those of you who want a reliable and powerful setup without breaking the bank at £1,349. For a high-end experience at 1440p or maybe even 4K, take a look at the Refract Indigo with a Ryzen 7900X3D and RTX 4080 Super priced at 2699 This powerful PC is sure to offer an immersive flying experience with stunning visuals and smooth performance. The 7900X3D's advanced architecture ensures top-notch performance, while that 4080 Super is going to handle the most demanding graphics. It also comes with 32GB of memory, 1TB of high-speed storage, and is part of the Overclocker's Refract range, which is actually pre-built and ready to ship to you next day. Finally, let's blow the budget and go all out with the TechForge Synthwave. It comes with the latest flagship hardware and a beautiful printed design. You can max out flight sim in 4K with an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K and upgrade to the RTX 4090 for £4,580. It also includes 64GB of RAM ensuring you can push every setting to the max and there's 2TB of high speed storage for all your games and applications. This PC is a beast designed for those who want nothing but the best and are ready to invest in a top tier experience. 
If you already have a decent PC and just need an upgrade, consider investing in a new GPU like the RTX 4080 Super, priced around £950, or the 7900 XT, priced around £650. Your GPU is really what matters when it comes to performance in demanding titles, and the 4080 Super and 7900 XT provide excellent performance and are capable of handling the most demanding games and applications like Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Finally, why not get fully immersed and kit out your setup with an aircraft cockpit and flight controller. The Overclockers UK website has a wide selection from the very popular Logitech Flight X56 Rhino for just £199 to the more advanced Thrustmaster Hottest Warthog joystick and throttle for £420. Next Level Racing has some super immersive flight simulator cockpits starting at around £600 and they're themed like military aircraft or commercial planes for the ultimate experience. You'll find everything you need in our dedicated section which I'm going to link below. Overall, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 looks incredible. I thought it was going to be more of a DLC, but it seems the title has been completely overhauled to be the best and most realistic flying sim ever created. If you've never tried a sim like this before, I think it would even appeal to gamers who just want to explore some beautiful scenery, maybe take some rather awesome looking screenshots, and also test out their PC's performance with those incredible looking graphics. Do let me know in the comments below if you need to upgrade your PC to play this demanding upcoming sim and remember to subscribe and like the video so you catch our upcoming episodes evaluating the PC hardware requirements of some of the biggest games. If you want to see one of our previous episodes take a look below.